butter. Let's turn up a back eye and wine and wine them and then check. Put together. Thank you very much, DJ Andy Dusty. Ladies and gentlemen, just before this interview with Gary R. Smith, I would like to also acknowledge the presence of a senior citizen yeah. of the land, a former chairperson of the Convention People's Party, founded by Osajifo Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, Dr. Professor Edmond Dilley. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I hand you over to Gary R. Smith as he digs into the mind of this great man. Gary. Make a video continue. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining us on this auspicious evening, this historic evening, this seminal evening in Ghanaian history. It is not a seminal evening in Ghanaian football history. It is a seminal evening in Ghanaian history because we, as a country, do not have our heroes documenting their story for many, many reasons. Top of them include the fact that their failures are going to make them laughing stocks. Despite their blazing successes, their failures tend to be what will define them. We like amplifying negatives and suppressing positives. But this man here, especially in our meetings, when it came up for some of the controversial moments and we asked him, Asa, do you want this in the book? Tronina! That's what he would say. Write everything. Because as you would see in the blurb, he says that he does not want your sympathy. He just wants his side of the story told because... It seems that for a long time, only one side of the story has been told. Congratulations on your book, Asamoah Thank you. You just watched your documentary, or the documentary that was done for you, more accurately. How did you feel? Um, before I speak, I would like to acknowledge my friends over there, those who are making noise. Uh, it'd be like, if you don't talk to yeah. <laughs> I have to. <laughs> um, if people don't know, when I played in Dubai, um, I lived in Dubai for five seasons, five years. And um, I lived with them in the same house for five years. You know. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So, back to your question. Um, I felt... Hold on. You sure say you give them the fans finish? I give them the fans. We will continue at home. So. At home, okay. Yeah. All right. So, um, yeah, watching this, um, like a surprise to me. Um, the team have done an incredible job. They did everything behind me. I didn't know who they interviewed. Um, when I was watching, it got to a time I got emotional. You know, and um, I'm still very emotional right now, but um, yeah, at least people who know Samoajan um, don't really know the real Samoajan. You know, um, somebody see me as, as the outspoken spoke, type, you know, the more energetic type, but they, they don't know the emotional type. You know, so I felt very, very emotional, honestly, you know, watching myself all these years. Although I've been watching some videos about me, but, you know, the comments of great men of our land, you know, watching me through all these years, acknowledging what I've done, saying what they said about me, it made me very, very emotional. On that tangent, if you look from the left, I want you to look from the left, all the way to the right, this way, because of you, all these busy people, some of them billionaires, millionaires, dollar millionaires, oh, city millionaires, pound millionaires, euro millionaires, some controlled territories, because of you, they are here. What do you have to say to them? Yeah. 
Mm, sometimes I see people on the street and then they tell me you are the most hated player in Ghanaian history. But they also tell me I'm the most loved. You the same person. Same person. So I always sit down and ask myself why that hated part you know sometimes i ask myself questions and then i came to understand that it comes with the territory i put myself into this position when i started nobody knew who asamajan was it got to a time they knew it and um with the support of my brother who i always mention you know um I'm very emotional right now, but he is the key. He's the one behind my success. You know, um, sometimes criticisms and everything comes. People blame him for him being a bad influence or something, but they don't know what he has done behind the scene. I'm the one who knows it. And this is what makes the book very, very interesting. You know, um, right now, um, your question is, um, I have to answer your question. I would like to thank everybody who devoted their time, um, all the dignitaries around, my friends, my fans, uh, my critics, I'm sure everybody is here. And um, of course, the man of the land is on his way coming. And um, he has done a lot. The former president, John Dramani Mahama. There is one minister who I loved so much. He was a former sports minister. Um, Mr. Mahama Ayariga. <laughs> he was a friend before becoming a minister, and um, I acknowledge what he has done for me personally. And um, our former minister, Mr. Yiti Mensa, sports minister, he has done a lot. And then everybody who comes, who came here to support me, and. Um, I would like to thank everybody for the love shown to me tonight. Yeah. So, next question. <laughs> next question, he says. Um, the, next question. the next question. Now, after thanking everybody, I mean, we look at the book you've written, we've, we have established that it is a trailblazing document. Um, Asa, if you didn't know, I put it to you that you have become, by this work, by this step, the first footballer in the great history of Ghana. Please give it up for him. Yeah. It bears repeating. As President Okufuado said in that documentary, the great and the good footballers that have been produced in this country reads like a who is who of, of whatever it is. But you, the baby jet, number three, Ewole Monko. What did I leave? <laughs> Actually, let me come in right there. Uh -huh. This Ewole Monko thing, uh -huh. I think it started from my senior captain, Stephen Apia. Oh, really? Yep. Uh, we were in a camp one day, and uh, so we have to pause here. Let's pause. Uh, sure. So, please be upstanding. Let's acknowledge the first man of the land, President Nana Adodankwa Ekufuado. A round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, as we welcome His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Ghana, Nana Adodankwa Ekufuado. Please keep the applause going. Please keep it going.
Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, shall we all remain standing as we observe the national anthem of the Republic of Ghana? Louder. It should be louder. And of course, we all do know that His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Ghana, is also the Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces. So at this time, Your Excellency, may I crave your indulgence to continue the event? Shall we go ahead? Thank you very much, Your Excellency. And now, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, would we'll go ahead with the final part of the sit-down conversation with Gary R. Smith. Once again, let's do a big round of applause for the legend as he makes his way to take a seat to answer the final round of questions. Baby Jet, baby mama. You are my baby. I wanna ah. see you smiling, see you laughing. You are my Jerry. Whoa, whoa, gaga, you are my baby. Few things can cause a Samoajan to stop an interview when he's in the flow like that, and this is one of them. <laughs> yes, so you were telling us about the story. Uh, you were giving us the, the gist behind Ewole Monko, and you were pointing to Stephen Appiah as the origin or the originator of that. Yeah, yeah we were in a camp. Um, I think uh, we were having a buffet, all the players, and um, he loves shrimp. Oh. Yeah. So, shrimp in Ghana, the name, the, the name of the shrimp is monko. Uh, we call it monko in Ghana. So, anytime he tastes the, 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 the shrimp, he says, Ewo monko, you know, which means the monko is sweet. Yeah, it tastes good. Ewo monko. And then I was like, yeah, I also tasted it. I was like, well, Ewo monko. You know? And then um, Langabel, the drama, he came. So Langabel, <laughs> so Langabel came and then um, he was like, "Eh, wole mongo." So he brought the le to it, you know. So it became "Eh, wole mongo." So it became and, and, and you put it in a song and immortalized the expression. "Eh, mongo," and it, it became my term, you know. So "Eh, wole mongo" signifies a lot of things, you know. Like you see a nice car, you say, "Ah, car with the eh, wole mongo," you know. You score a nice goal. Go a wule monko. You know, like president is there. You know, president he wule monko. You know, so <laughs> you know. So. And now, and now, my 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 friend Adibayo has taken over. Anytime I call him, he wule monko. He wule monko. So now, um, Adibayo has taken the wule monko from me. So, so, so as they say, uh, if my 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 Misato, you are more biblically inclined. They say Apollo's water. Is it Paul water or Apollo's water and then something? Not. Hello, but I this one. Where Jonah? Your Excellency. <laughs> tomorrow morning we're going for communion across the wall, aren't we? <laughs> Thank you very much, Gary. That's all we can say. <laughs> anyway, um, Stephen Appiah originated it. You took it, and then Emmanuel Adibayo has continued the journey. Let's just wrap up really quickly so that it's been um, quite a while. 
Look, it's been a great evening for you, for your family, for everybody who loves you. And um, working with you on this book, I could see how sometimes conflicted, like you expressed about 10 minutes ago, about your place in the heart and minds of Ghanaians. But as somebody said recently, Jan, I want to assure you that it's all love. It really is Thank all love. Thank you. Yeah, it I really appreciate is it. all love. You know, the criticism, everything. I'm sure for most Ghanaians, it comes from a good place. Seriously, it comes from a very good place. I think that probably, like you said in the book as well, and I'm giving you hints, this social media generation seem to amplify the negatives and uh, they hide the positives. But look at, the, look at the people who have stopped whatever they are doing to come here. You know, I want you to believe and to know that you are loved. Say, I am loved. I know I am loved. <laughs> right. Final round that I've been told to ask. Um, after the book, what next for you, Asamoah? Um, after the book, um, we've got a lot of things behind the scene that can inspire the um, current generation. Yeah. You know, um, people look up to me, and um, I have a great team behind me. People who try to prove me in the right direction. You know, so what I can say is, um, I don't know the future. I'm not God, but the future is bright. That is all I can say. What would you say to the legends who are here, um, you know, who are also looking to document what they've done as taking a cue from what you've done as well, from your own experience? Is it something that's very easy to do, something that's difficult to do? What, what advice would you tell them now as among all the things you've done in your life, you are now a, an author and a publisher of a book. All I will say is um, stay humble despite everything. No matter how you go, just stay humble. Um, my legends right there know me personally. Yeah. You know, they know the kind of human I am. Um, I called El Haj Diof, African Football of the Year, two times African Football of the Year. I went to my maestro himself, Abedi Pele, three times African Football of the Year. Adebayo, another Ballon d'Or Football of the Year. Steven Apia. I've been, he has been my captain for all these years. You know, and they know the kind of human being I am. So when I invited them, they said, hey, we have to come support you. And not forgetting the first man of the land. I went to him personally. And he confirmed. Actually, if nobody knows, the man of the land fixed this date for the event. Warm my applause, please. When I went to him, I spoke to him about the book, and then he told me he had to be part of this great event. And that is what everybody is seeing. The beginning of the program, we were communicating with his team. The president was actually not in Accra. He had to, of course, the president has to travel to everywhere. He came late, he's tired right now, and then he said, no, I'm not going to sleep, I'm coming to the event. So, back to my legends, they know who I am. All I will say is, stay humble. That is all I can say, that is how I have to summarize everything. In life, just stay humble, and then the positives will follow. Thank you so much, Asamoah Jan. Please give it up for the man for whom we are here, Asamoah Jan. Thank you very much. You are my baby. I wanna see you smiling, see you laughing. You are my Jerry. Oh, oh, Gaga, you are my baby. I 
no go fi run, they leave you behind. This be from you and Juliet. If you will, you deserve to be my wife. Asama, congratulations one more time. And thank you very much, Gary Al Smith. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause.